Hey, Daniel, I wanted to ask you uh, what it was like to have Sterling out there with you for a little bit today and, and how he looked. I know it wasn't a, a, exactly a full practice, but, uh, you know, did, how, how, how's he coming along? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's doing good. You know, he's been out there uh, for a couple weeks now, and, and uh, you know, I know he's, uh, you know, doing everything he can to, to get out there, but, you know, he's got to be, gotta be smart, and, and, you know, that's, uh, that's on him and, and the trainers to, uh, to, to do that. So, um, yeah, he's uh, good to have him out there. He's been out there for a little bit now. What would having him back mean on Thursday night for, these, for this offense? Uh, it'd be it'd be great, you know. I think uh, he's obviously a, a, a special player and, and can do a lot of different things, and um, you know, it'd be be great to have him back. But you know, we've had guys step up and, and play pretty, you know, play play really well in, in that in that spot. So um, you know, regardless of, of who's out there, it's up to us to to execute. Thank you, Dan Duggan. Hey Daniel, I know on the zone read, obviously, just by the nature of it, you're you're reading an end there. But are there times where you know, like, I can probably pull it because you've seen a few times that they, they haven't been kind of, you know, sticking with you on that backside? Or is it always just a read? Uh, yeah, I think, I think you can kind of get a sense for uh, how they're playing it and, and uh, you know, who, who's playing it, how they're playing it in different, you know, ways. But I think, you, you know, you also need to be careful to, to actually, you know, reading them. I think when you predetermine any, any of those the decisions, uh, you can get into trouble. So, um yeah. And then when you get downfield, do you feel like you need to, you know, maybe get a little better at sliding? Or are you comfortable kind of taking some of those shots you, you take in the open field? Uh, yeah, you know, I'll probably, uh, probably do a better job getting down in some of those situations. And, and uh, you know, but uh, that's part of the game. Football is a physical game. And, and uh, you know, I, I can, uh, yeah, probably be better there. Thanks. Matt Lombardo. Hey, Daniel. How's it going, man? Good. How you doing, Matt? Good, good. Um, I'm curious. You look at Evan Ingram, and you guys have kind of struggled to get him going, especially, you know, stretching the field with him deep. What's been kind of the issue there? And on the flip side of that, you and Darius have had a great connection through the first six weeks or so. What's been going right in, in that, that regard? Yeah, you know, Evan's a, a, a special player. He... he Creates a lot of problems for defenses, and and you know defenses are certainly aware of of uh, you know of what he can do and what he brings to the table. So uh, you know as an offense, we got to continue to to execute you know our stuff, and and you know he's a big part of that. So uh, you know finding those opportunities to to get him the ball, and uh, you know he's dangerous with the ball in his hands. Um, you know certainly good getting open and and really good after the catch too. So. Uh, you know, we've got to do a good job getting him the ball. And, and, and Darius has done a great job, uh, you know, through these first few weeks getting open. And, and uh, you know, he, he's a he's a extremely talented player, a smart guy, and, and you can trust him to, to get open and uh, be in the right spot. Yeah, one of his biggest games was in Philly last year um, with the two touchdown catches. Have you guys gone back and watched that film at all and kind of picked up on things that might have worked really well last time around for this year? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, they got some different guys in some different spots and, uh, you know, a little bit different defense, but uh, the same, you know, the same scheme, obviously the same coordinator. So, uh, yeah, we, we've looked at that and, and uh, you know, we're, uh, you know, we'll, we'll uh, use that in, in, our, in our game plan, but, um, you know, need to, need to do what we do and, and execute at a high level. Ed Valentine? Hey, Daniel, I just wanted to ask you, obviously you've been asked to run a lot more the last couple of weeks. Do you, do you like, you know, having that responsibility or having that, that freedom to run more? And, and how much do you think that helps your offense, you know, to put that, that element into the playbook? Uh, yeah, you know, I think it, it uh, you know, helps the – uh, helps the running game, uh, you know, opens up things for, for backs and, and uh, you know, helps the passing game too. I think, you know, the, this, you know one of the strengths of this offense is, is the ability to, to do a lot of different things with, with uh, you know, different personnel. And, and you know, when, when uh, you know, my number's called to run it, I'm certainly, uh, you know, excited for those opportunities. So, um, you know, I think that, you know, you're seeing what, what this offense can do and we've got to continue to, um, you know, continue to improve, continue to, to execute. 
Thank you. Patty? Hey, Daniel, how you doing? Good, how you doing, Patty? I'm doing well, thank you. Daniel, the Eagles have quite a, a few injuries on the defensive side of the ball, and I'm just wondering, when you prepare for them, do you put more of an emphasis on focusing on the scheme? Do you balance more on the replacement players? Because no two players obviously are the same. I mean, how do you approach that when, you, when you're facing a team that's so banged up on that side of the ball? Yeah, you know, I think it's a it's a balance between both. I think you know having awareness for the for the personnel, uh, you know, and, and you know what their strengths and weaknesses are as players, and uh, you know what their tendencies are, and then understanding how that fits into the to the scheme and what they want to do, uh, you know, on on defense and and uh, you know what coverages they're playing, what fronts and pressures they they play. So um, I think that's a big part of it. But you know, with all that, I think. Um, you know, we take the approach to focus on on ourselves first. You know, focus on preparing. Um, you know, to play well as a team, as an offense, and, and taking care of um, you know our business first. With that said, do you see much of a difference in what they've been able to do on defense, given all the injuries? Uh, yeah, I think you can see uh, you know a little bit different uh, you know game plan week to week, depending on who's who's out there uh, for them, but. Um, you know, for the most part, they want to do what they do and, and um, you know, stick to that. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll certainly fact that in the game plan. But like I said, it's, it's about us. It's about, you know, us executing and, and uh, you know, going out there and playing well. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, thank you. We'll take four more. Chris, Mark, Pat, and Art. Uh, Mark? Hey, Daniel. Uh, thanks for doing this, as always. Um, can you talk a little bit about last year you had several occasions where you, you you kind of put the offense on your back and carried it a couple of you know three or three or so four or five touchdown games you haven't had those occasions yet this year is that a, a product of just trying to be a little more careful with the ball obviously it's a different system um, and do you still feel confident that you can throw those kind of numbers up you know when needed uh, yeah you know I think um... You know we're we're uh, you know doing doing what we can to to execute you know as as an offense and and you know move the ball uh, you know as a team and I think that's you know the important thing that's where our focus is is uh, you know making sure every time we we touch the ball we're, we're moving it and, and scoring points and uh, finishing with touchdowns so you know we've got a lot of a lot of good players a lot of uh, people who can who can uh, you know do a lot make a lot of plays for us and. You know, my job is to, to get them the ball. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm confident in, in where we are as an offense and, and uh, you know, excited going forward. Do you find sometimes that you are walking a line? I mean, you know, you've made a lot of good plays already in your short career, but you've also obviously had the turnover issues and stuff. Are you walking a, a fine line trying to still be aggressive but not, you know, sacrifice that with, with turnover, so to speak? Yeah, you know, I think that's kind of, uh, you know, the job uh, in a sense that, you know, you, you need to be able to do both. You got to be able to protect the football and, and uh, you know, be aggressive and, and aggressively, you know, take what they give you, uh, you know, as a quarterback. So, um, you know, that's that's the challenge. That's my job. And, and you know, I'll continue to, to improve with it. Thanks, Daniel. Yep, thank you. Chris? Daniel, just to piggyback that Mark's question a little bit, do you feel, look, we all know the turnovers, you know, is an issue and all that, but do you feel at times that maybe you're not being aggressive, maybe holding back and taking a shot down the field because you don't want that turnover? Uh, you know, I think, uh, like I said, I think that's the uh, the challenge as a, as a quarterback is understanding when to take those uh you know when to when to try to make those plays and, and when not to. So, you know, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I think also it's important to uh, you know learn from your mistakes, but not to let them you know affect that uh, you know affect any uh, you know your your aggression or, or you know the opportunity to make some of those plays. And you know, I don't think I have. I think I've uh, you know taken them when they've when they've been there, and and you know I'll continue to improve with that. Thank you. And two more, two quick ones, Pat and Art. Pat, Daniel, what do, what do you think it is that makes?
Sterling Shepard uh, as reliable as he is when he is in the lineup? Um, I think it's you know a combination of a lot of things. I think his uh, his physical tools are uh, you know he, he's an extremely explosive. Uh -huh. Guy, he's, he's good in and out of cuts. I think he's as good a, a route runner as, as there is in the league. Um, you know, you know, with what he can do, uh, getting open and then and then catching the ball. So, um, you know, you can trust him to separate from guys. And uh, you know, he's a he's a tough guy to cover one on one. Thanks. Last one here, Art. Hey, Daniel. I know you guys, uh, you know, are focused one game at a time. But when you you think about the standings every week. Rare for a team to be at one and five and still have a shot in a division, even this early in the season. Does that factor in for you guys at all? Is there any talk in the locker room in terms of the significance of this game and and how uh, things are kind of all there, all bunched up again in this in these standings? Yeah, you know, I think um, you know all the all these divisional games are are big, and I think guys understand that. I think you know guys have an awareness as to uh, you know where the division is and and uh, you know the standings. But but like you said, we're focused on on this week. We're focused on uh, on this game and and it being a, a big divisional game. You know, there's obviously um, you know it's a it's important for for that reason. So uh, yeah, guys are guys are locked into that and and. Uh, you know, excited to, to get out there.